To connect or not to connect? That is a question many gamers are facing when they're coming to pre-order a next generation console. On the left side, we have the Xbox One with, a, with the Connect 2.0 mandatory. Always listening. Always there. <laughs> without your choice. On the right side, we have the PlayStation 4 without a sensor. Well, at least not without coming with one. And, uh, yeah, apparently if, if you do get the sensor, nobody cares if they're spying on you or not. But anyways, Microsoft has confirmed, yes, they've confirmed that they're allowing the NSA to have indirect access of your personal data. Um, yeah, that's, I guess, something not to be so excited about. And the worst part is, every Xbox One comes with a Kinect V2.0. Yay! And so many gamers are wondering, huh, should I get the Xbox One? It will always require the Kinect to be connected to your Xbox One. And, um, will it spy on me? The Kinect will always be listening for Kinect or Xbox On when the device is on standby or off or whatever. Huh. Is it spying on me? Is the popular question when thinking about getting an Xbox One. Well, according to Microsoft, that is a big fat no. Microsoft has made a message to The Verge, quoting, We do not believe the government has the legal authority to compel us or any other company that makes products with cameras and microphones to start collecting voice and video data. Huh. The email sent to The Verge also states, We'd aggressively challenge in court any attempts to try to force us to do so. Yay, Microsoft! You're fighting for my personal and security and stuff. Round of applause. Round of applause, I mean. Well, the thing is, Microsoft admitted to allowing NSA with indirect access. Well, people were wondering, well, this at first it was just access. And then people were, wait, 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 wait. You're allowing them access to all of my uh, security and, and, and privacy? And Microsoft was like, oh, no, it's indirect access. So we make sure that they have um, legitimate reasons to access your information. Well... Now they're saying that the Kinect V2.0 for the Xbox One will not be always looking at you and, and recording uh, video and audio of you and they're not going to be like watching you scream at your television in frustration saying, that freaking camper! They're apparently not going to be doing that. And the NSA apparently as, at this moment has not asked them to. <laughs> at least by the way they worded it, it sounds so. But the Kinect V2.0 would be a perfect spying device. It would. It has an ultra-fast bandwidth. Uh, much, well not ultra-fast, but much faster than USB 2.0. So, what's the deal? Do you personally believe that there's going to be spying on you and enjoying that awesome audio and video of you screaming in that, that camper in Call of Duty? Do you think... They're going to be listening to your conversations while you're chilling on the couch with your pal, even when your system's off. Do you believe that this article and their claims are true? That Microsoft will fight for your security and that they are not allowing the NSA to grab video and audio of you via your Connect 2.0 sensor? Personally, what do I believe? You don't get to know what I believe. Because... I felt like it. Please leave a comment in the description. Wait, yeah, please, no, please just leave a comment and we can have a discussion about this. What do you believe? If you're open minded about this video, you can definitely have a positive view on this. Whether, uh, whether you believe that it's true or not, you don't have to be a fanboy about it and scream, LIARS! Or be, a, or be an extremist about it and say, idiots that don't believe this. This is a neutral video discussing about this article. So, what do you believe? Whatever you believe, let me know. I would like to see if anybody believes this or not. Please leave a, leave a comment down below. 
And thank you for watching a video by me, the one and only Jacob from Global Gaming 101. And you have a very good day.